we thank you for joining us here at 530. I'm Fred Shropshire and I'm Vanessa Rufus. First up tonight, the Carolinas still hitting very hard by this uh, flu season. Families getting together for Thanksgiving next week, so local hospitals are really urging you to make sure that you're prepared because the patient counts from the viruses we are seeing are really straining them. WCNC Charlotte's Lexi Wilson shares the changes being made to protect patients and staff. <laughs> Coughing, runny nose, and fever. Flu season is in full swing. So we're seeing flu very early. North and South Carolina, among the states seeing a very high rate of the flu, according to the CDC. Atrium Health and Novant Health now putting restrictions in place. Children 12 and under are not allowed to visit patients in hospitals and select facilities. The burden of infection in children is very high right now, so we're protecting them by keeping them out of a, a setting where there are other sick people and also protecting the patients. <coughs> Hospitals feeling the strain. Hospitals are very busy right now and specifically pediatric hospitals. Experts are asking for you to take precautions to help ease the burden on healthcare workers making sure you're using the right type of care for your medical needs. So, you know, encourage virtual visits where it makes sense. Urgent cares and primary care offices are a good option and try to save, especially those emergency room visits for, you know, severe symptoms. And we're also learning that some Charlotte pharmacies are low on Tamiflu. There is a nationwide shortage. Now health experts say that you need to make sure you get your flu shot, your COVID booster, and if you are sick, to stay at home. Reporting in Dilworth for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Lexi Wilson.